Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And it is now the time to kit up, well, de kit um, the 30 by 40 and kit up the final one in the comparison. Um, I do have the smaller one, but my daughter's completed that already. This is the final one that I need to do. Um, so I need to get this one kit up. Now, I do have the diamonds left from the 30 by 40. I also have the diamonds my daughter used from the smaller one. And I have what diamonds from the paintings I've done previously that are used in this painting. Now, the reason that I am mixing up the diamonds and transferring over um, the colours that have been used before is purely because I purchased these pictures all together from the same seller. So there's no dye lot difference between the colours. I don't recommend that you do this normally. So between, you know, something from one seller and something from another, I, I very often, normally, I will just kit up one image um, and then I will de-kit that image and I will kit up a new one. The only time that I let them sort of interact is when they're from the same seller for this, uh, they're bought at the same time. So even if I'd have purchased these in different orders, I wouldn't have done this, okay? Um, so I've got quite a few colors that are gonna need to be put away. So I do imagine this is gonna be a longer video so buckle up uh, I think this is going to take a while in the fact that I'm going to have quite a few paint quite a few diamonds that are going to need to go away for this this diamond painting so the final one only has 17 colors so that's all I'm going to be dealing with is 17 colors um, and I'm going to of course intertwine any that I've already used before. Now I have moved my pouch with my nice new pretty label um, with all the diamonds into the side. They are the diamonds that came with the painting. They will be going into this kitting up process. But the first thing I want to do is figure out which of all these diamonds I've got here I can use again and which need to go. And I will get those away and then I will pop the rest of them into the storage. So first things first, I'm going to create my labels. So I've cut out of the inventory sheet the symbols and the DMC numbers. All the rest can go into my little pop-up bin from Lou. Thank you, Lou. And I'm going to use my sticker maker from Brenda. I'm sure it was from Brenda. My brain, my brain. Um, I'm going to use this sticker maker that she sent me a while back. Ever so grateful. Every single time I use this, it's amazing. Um, and this will turn my inventory sheet into a sticker. So that I can use those to label the bottles. So that's now a sticker. So... Let me think, there is a lot of diamonds here and there is a lot in two. Okay, I'm gonna put that one to the side first. Let's see. Okay, now these are in different bottles as well, which sort of doesn't help. Um, they're a different style of bottle to what's in here. So 5200 is a no, 154 is a no. 155. Now I'm sort of lining these up ready to de kit them. Let me just move them into the shot. Um, so I'm keeping, you know, the 100s together. 158 is a no. 210 is a yes. And it is the third colour that we have in this painting. So let's start there. And we're just going to cut down each of these so that they're ready to peel off. Now the symbols are different, so I will be 
changing the label. And the reason I'm starting with this pot is this pot has, you know, all the same type bottles and I may need some emptied to pop those into. So 210. Let's pop my new label on because that is still 210 inside there. I don't have any 210 there. Did Megan have any 210? No, she didn't. Okay, so Megan never used any 210 and it was the third one. So let's go there. So 310, nope. 318, no. 340, no. So we've not got a lot that looks like we'll be putting away quite a few. 413, no. 414, yes. And that is actually, will be going here. So 414, let's cut down to there. Four one four. Peel off the old label and pop on the new one so that we know that the symbols are going to match this painting. And um, was there any 414 on Megan's? There was. I need to bear in mind Megan's when she kits hers up, she kits according to the symbol, not according to the DMC number just to confuse matters. So I'm gonna take the sticker off that one as well, because that then tells me that that one is definitely all done. And that one goes there. So 415 is a no. In fact, next we need are the 700s. So 797. So those two can go. 797 is the next one and it's gonna go here. So again, let's pop on the label. Of 797. And then we know where we're up to, hopefully. I'm struggling to keep track of myself. Is there any 797 in Megan's? There is. Now it's in the middle of this one and these don't come apart. So I'm gonna use my little pop-up funnel. In fact, let me move that out of the way because that's just getting in my road. And we'll tip those in and I'll take that label off so I know it's been done. And you can see they are exactly the same shade. There is no problem on the shading, which is why I'm happy to do this. Okay, 799, so 798 I don't need, 799 I do. In fact, let's just cut all of these straight up because I feel like I'm picking up the scissors every two seconds. So we'll cut through all of these. Just so they're as prepared as I can be ditch that stage out. Okay, so 799. Take off the old label. Doesn't want to come off as easy that one, but when I de-kit this one is probably when I'll clean these pots up properly. Okay, so 799 goes there. And then 803 is a no. 820 is a no. 827 is a no. 939 is a yes. Ooh, that one didn't want to come off either. So 939. And then I've got a gap of 245. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that one is going to go there. I can always rearrange them if I've got them in the wrong place anyway. 996 is a yes. So transfer that. Oh, I forgot to check Megan's stuff. So let's check. She's got 996, so we'll do that one. Transfer that in. And I forgot to check 939. Has she got 939? Oh, she's not got it. 
Okay, so she never had it in her painting. See, look, those 996, they've probably come from a few different paintings and they're all the same. Okay, 3761 is not in there. 3799 is not in there. 3865 is the last one. So let's put these over here. I still need to deal with these bottles. 38 and 3865. The symbol has changed. Okay. 3865. And did Megan have that one? She didn't. Okay. And there's a gap of two. So that is how far my diamonds are going to go up for this painting. I still have a few more numbers to deal with. I still have a few here. I still have a few here. But a lot of my pots are taken up. So I think I may need to do a bit of both. But first we'll have a look. So 209. I need to switch pots, which is a bit of a pain but it's because they are ever so slightly different and I don't really want to get my storage that mixed up. So these will go back into my 42 bottle case. 209, none of that in this one. And that goes there. What else have we got? 813. So we'll pop that in here. 813. And then I am going to have to empty some to be able to put some more in. But... Okay, 813. That can go back into my other storage. And that one can go there. And then we've got one more spare bottle already, so we'll do 823. Does she have 813? Oh, I had 813 in Megan's as well. So 823. Take the label off that one. 823 in this one as well. It's on an end pot, so they're quite easy to tip in. Two, three, and then she did have some 813, which I forgot to move over. And this one is in the middle. So let's make it easy on ourselves. Okay. So just to complicate matters now, I don't have any more of the bottles that go into this case, but I still, of course, need some for the rest of those. So what I'm going to do first is these ones I know are in that painting and I need to switch the bottles, so I'm going to put them there. What I'm going to do first off is I'm going to see of Megan's. Okay, so 211 I don't have here and I don't need here. 341, I don't need them either. So those need putting away, as do all of those. 820 is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip those into there. These will still be going into my spare storage, but at least I'm only dealing with one pot. Just to try and make life easier. And the same with the 5200. See if I can get one storage case completely out of the equation and make things a little bit easier. Okay, 826. 826 is here. This needs to go with this painting. So I'm going to tip them together. Again, they perfectly match. There is no problems because they were bought from the same seller at the same time. Okay, 799. I don't need it there. It 
it's not in those pots and it's not here. And then 3842, I don't need here and I don't have a pot for it already. So those two need to go away. And then these last two. So we've got 995, it's not needed anywhere. And 825, 825 is needed for this painting and I do have a spare pot. So we'll tip that in. Okay, so that's broken down the equation a little bit. Those are gonna be for the new painting. These all need to go away into my stash. I can also take this off. So quite often I like to stick on the front um, the picture of the inventory sheet, just so that I know, especially with these, what diamonds they are. Um, my Goo Gone will get rid of any residue that the double-sided tape has left. But to be honest, that's coming up pretty well. It's just a little bit there. Yeah, I might just need a little bit of Goo Gone just to get the last little bit of residue. Yeah, I'll fight with Goo Gone later. Even my memory card saved going, I don't need to see you picking sticky parts off. Okay, so these need to go away. These are for the new painting. So I'm gonna put the new painting to one side for the moment, and I'm gonna concentrate on getting these away. Now in with these, just to confuse matters, they are squares. So I do put any into my heaven and earth design painting if I use them in that painting. So first things first, let's check some of those. So 154 is a no, 155 is a no, 158 is a yes. So let's see if they'll fit in. Just get rid of the little messy bits on the floor. Peel the label off this one because it's done. And for now, that can just go back into this case in a gap. Okay, 310, yes. That one is definitely used for this, though that one is too full. For 310, my spares are held somewhere slightly different due to the amount of them. Hold it. I currently have them all in a bag. <laughs> in a huge seven inches by five inches Ziploc bag. Um, I have two Heaven and Earth design paintings that both use quite a lot of black. Um, they're both using a heavy amount of it. So I am just putting them all into this bag. Once I've finished my heaven and earth designs, then I'll sort out, you know, keeping an allotted amount in my spare storage and the rest can go. Um, okay, 318 is a no. 340 is a yes. So 340 can be emptied. Now, if you do want to know any more about my Heaven and Earth Designs project um, and the fact that I am using my spares, I'll sort those out in a minute, um, the fact that I'm using my spares, do feel free to visit my website, 4 at 147com and that should tell you all you need to know. Okay, they're not all going to fit in there. And they're all going to go all over the floor, so all over the desk, sorry. So let me just corral those back. Okay, get in there. So I'll put these into my spares for this project in a moment. 550, that's the same, that's too full. Now this case only goes up to 601. So 211, do I need that one? Nope, 
341? No. So these are all ones that need to go into my normal storage so far. Okay, so that's that case done. I'm still sticking with my heaven and earth designs first. It's always the first step I take when putting square diamonds away. This one holds from 603 to 905. So, it oh, this one's 799. Okay, so that is not in it. I will check this one after. 762, nope. 792. No, 798, yes. And there should be enough room for them because there's only a couple. Oh, do you know what I haven't checked? Ugh. And this is the only problem when I'm doing this sort of way of kitting up and kitting down is I forgot to check my overflow. So these are all the diamonds that never made it to the pot. So let's have a look. 797 will need to go away. Does it? No, it doesn't. 797 is in that painting. 798, here we go. So there was only a few in that pot, but I have more here. 939 is in that painting. 820 isn't in that painting, it's here, okay. So that is my extra spare baggies sorted out. So for 798, I actually have more than I thought. So we'll fill that one up. And then the rest need to go in my heaven and earth designs. 803, no. 820, yes. So 820 is one I use in my heaven and earth designs, but it's full. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to tip it into this bag. The reason being is I'll just put this bag in with my Heaven and Earth Design spares. Because I don't necessarily fancy label those up in my Heaven and Earth Designs. They're just there until I finish the project. They're not long term. 827. I don't think they're going to fit in either. Let's not try and squeeze them. And that is it up to the 900s. So we'll bob that one away. Don't make things easy, can you tell? So this is 906 to 3712. So we'll start with 995, which I've used it all already in this one. Um, I don't need this colour anymore in my heaven and earth designs which is why I've taken the label off so that can go into my normals and then 3041 that is in my heaven and earth designs but they're not going to fit in there and then the next ones are in the last case I've got three more to check and possibly the 5200 because they either go at the beginning or at the end Oh no, I don't have them in here. Okay, so let's do this one first. 3842. Okay, so that is one, and that is one that I need to put into my Heaven and Earth designs. 799 goes in my normal storage. 3766, yes, but that pot's full. 3807, yes, and it's not full. Okay, so let's fill that up. It's getting more complicated by the minute and static doesn't help. I've got static in these. Where's my funnel? Okay. Let's get them out of that pot. Let's get the lid off that pot and get that out of the equation and then, there we go. Okay. So I've filled up all the pots I can for my heaven and earth design. So I need my spare spares, which I keep in this box. Heaven and earth design spares. They're just labelled by hundreds. So these are the 300s, these are the 400s, these are the 500s. And it's only for this project. 
that I keep them. So 517 is the first. I already have a bag because it's already overflowed. So I can just tip these in. Now there are different die lots in these spares that are all put together. I don't mind that. Um, my Heaven and Earth Design project is one that was picked with the fact that they could be um, mixed and mingled. That was, I did bear that in mind when I purchased the pattern. And also when it comes to just needing them for spares, I don't mind if they're different shades. I will just tip them into a big tray and pick the shade I need if I run out of a diamond. Okay, so that's the 500s done. 700s. So I need 798 and 799. And it doesn't look like I have bags ready for either. That's okay, I can fix that. So obviously I've got to the point where the pots have got too full now, which is probably just due to the amount of diamonds in this. So what I think I'll do is I'll just continue to use these Evermoment bags, I think. Because I'm going to be um, revamping, you know, these will be going into my normal spare storage when I'm all done. And I can make them all match that when, when and if I finally finish my Heaven and Earth Designs project. So I'm just going to pop those two in the back there with my 700s and they can just stay in ever moments. Okay, 800s. 820 can just go in in its bag. 827, do I have a bag for that? I do. So these are actually the same size as my spare storage bags and they probably will transfer a little bit easier. But I have loads of those Evermoment bags at the moment. So I'm going for ease and quickness for the purposes of getting these diamonds away because the main aim is to put up my next project. That's what I want to do. Zoom you in a little bit, just so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here a little bit better. Okay, 3041. Oh, I don't have those at all yet. In fact, I haven't even used the divider for the 3000s. So I do need a bag for that. So I'm just grabbing my Sharpie. And an ever moment bag, and I'm just going to do 3041. I'm just going for ease today. Ease, quickness, so that I can kit up the last one of this comparison. And then I won't have to do that image again. It's been a nice image but there's been a lot of them. Uh, 3766, I have a bag here. So let's tip those in. Ooh. So that's 3766 and then 3842. I can already see a bag there. See, look, that's got old, old labels on it. I did, I did think at one point that I would um, put, you know, fancy Dymo labels on for each number, but it just, oh, I was going through so much um, tape for the Dymo. I was just like, that is not worth it. Um, but I've since created some new stickers that are available in my shop and I will be revamping my own storage soon enough to encompass that. Okay, so all the diamonds are away for my Heaven and Earth designs, all the colours that I use. So this point now is what I'd class as a normal person's putting away because I'm just different. 
Um, so this is classed as a normal putting away of spare diamonds. And for that, I just use my standard spare diamond storage system, of which you can find all the details you need on my website. I haven't yet given this its next revamp because I do have new and nice pretty labels for labeling up these baggies and stuff that are available in my shop um, I haven't yet done that I also haven't yet moved these into um, the really nice bags that Diana got me that are really thick um, I haven't yet moved them into there either and I will do all of that you know as a project I might even do a video on it on some of it I can't do it on all of it because it'll take it'll take a while but I do enjoy making things pretty so it's okay so now I'm gonna tip in for the ones that I already have so we've got 154 in square and we'll get that one away I'm just peeling the labels off the best I can at the moment because I'm reusing this storage. I'll clean up the ones I don't use at the end. Um, 155, I already have a bag for. I've been diamond painting for that long now that I find I have bags for most of them. Though every now and then I still get a new colour. Okay, 155. And then I've got 211. Yeah, 211. And I only have that in round. See, here we go. Now, because I am going to be revamping this storage and I am going to be putting my new pretty labels on it. Wrong pen. Um, for the purposes of today, and the fact that I want to get this kit up, I am just going to use an Ever Moment bag because I don't have my new DMC labels handy. I do have my bags handy, um, but I sort of want to do it all as one project. So I'm just going to throw them in in that for now so that they're numbered and they're safe. And then I'll make it pretty when I redo them. Okay, next colour, 318. But you see, I've just found a new number that I didn't have before. I had it in round, but I haven't had it in square before now. So it's constantly evolving, the amount of, of diamonds that you have. Potential spares are constantly evolving. You're constantly adding to them. Okay, 341. I actually don't have any 341 at all. So again, for the purposes of I'm going to be revamping soon, I'm just going to use an Ever Moment bag. And of course, it's one that's in the middle. So let's see if I can get the funnel to sit right. And then I'll make that pretty when I redo my boxes. Oh, that sticker flinged everywhere. Okay, put that over there. What have we got next? 413. I have that. Look how full that is. That is chocker. I'm going to see if I can get the rest to squeeze in because I don't want to create another bag. So because I'm revamping. I will deal with that at a later time. I will make them fit. I'm still deciding whether to actually just have one bag for each and when it's full, it gets passed on to somebody else. Because while I do have two Heaven and Earth Design projects on the go, I'm not sure if I'm going to do more afterwards or not with spare diamonds because so far I've already been going for over a year <laughs> with the ones that I am doing okay so that's all the diamonds up to the 600s so I need my next box which is my 700s to 900s and we've got 762 
as the first one. Only a few of those left, but plenty for what I needed. Let's get those away. What's next? 792. Is that this side or this side? It's this side, 792. Put those away. Sorry, I'll be just nipped in. Okay, so 792, nearly there. 803. 803 in square. Get those away. Oh, yes, going to need to do some clean up on some of these bottles, but that's fine. 803 and then 995, which is right near the end. Now, this is one that I have already moved into the nicer bags from Diana. I did it on my last de-kitting and kitting up. So this is in sort of a posher bag that will stand up on its own rather than needing the baggy inserts and this is what I'm thinking of moving all my diamonds into so that I've got all spares I've got a nice amount of spares um, for each colour but that is sort of a whole revamp now that I've got nice new labels so that will wait till later and then last but not least the 5200 in DMC it's called B5200 and that's what I have my label down as. And I used to keep it in the front of my box, so in the first box that I had. However, I did find that I kept, um, I kept missing it. <laughs> so therefore I put it into the end of the box because if you take off the B, 52000 is sort of the end of the DMCs. So in my DMC sheet, it's the first one, but when it comes to kitting down now, I've moved it because the amount of times I missed it was unreal. Okay, we are officially kitted down. Goodness knows how long that took. That took a while. Um, we're officially kitted down. I've got these pots can go back in. There is no sticky residue on the front of these pots. These have come up really nice. So there is some residue on the top, so I will need to give that a go over with Goo Gone, which I will do once I've finished dealing with my kitting up. So first things first, I'm just going to label now all these gaps. So 159, I actually don't have any diamonds to tip in there. Three, three, four. But I can put on the rest of my labels like I normally would. Eight, two, four. I do have some here from. I can't even remember which painting it was. It was probably the forty by fifty. It wasn't from the thirty by forty anyway. Okay, take that off. But I am changing them up because the symbols are different. So in this one, it is a black letter O on the blue. And on this one, it is a white letter N. And I do not want to end up putting the wrong label on. And then I can't find the symbol on my painting because it will be my own flipping fault. Okay, 826. Move that one over. A little bit of static, but not too bad on that one. Okay, 826 is all moved over. And then I have two more that need labels putting on. Try and put it over the same place as where the last one was, just to hide any sticky residue. And I'll clean it up properly when I de-kit this one in full. And a 3799. Okay, so I've still got spares here of 797 and 939 from the last painting. I've got baggies for 310, 
which actually isn't in this painting, so that can go. And I've got a baggie for 7 dollars that is in this painting, so I'm going to keep that and reuse it for this next one, if I end up with any spares. I'll have to see. So this is all the diamonds. In fact, this one has already got a label on it, so I'm going to pop that. That's again just cut out from the inventory sheet just to show the picture because why not? It's pretty. Um, and these are A6 mesh bags. I like to put the diamonds in these because they sit in the lid. So they sit in the lid of these um, cases. In this case, it's a 30 bottle case. However, you can zip them up, which means if it falls off my table and due to the weight slips out, all the diamonds are still in the one pouch. Plus, I just like my little mesh pouches. So that one can be used for another diamond painting that may come into my life and need a home. And then the next thing I need to do um, is I need to clean up these other bottles and I need to get these diamonds in the tubs. So maybe if I just move those up. Let's clean up firstly with Goo Gone because then all I have to do is kit up. So I use this, I purchased it for a project around the house and it is absolutely wonderful for getting sticky marks off bottles. It does come with a cap with a tiny little hole in it and I just use a lint-free cloth. You'll always see me using the same cloth and then rub it over. Where it is just the base level of sticky, it comes off really quickly. Where you have the likes of double-sided tape with paper over the top, so if there's still paper residue left, it just takes a little bit more working until it all comes off like that. It smells of oranges and it's oil-based. So that is that storage container all cleaned up ready to go back in my storage and then I just need to do the same across the top of these bottles. My finger had moved from the place where I'd put the goo gone. You can take them out to do them if you find it easier though I find it pretty easy in the case itself. Just keeps them all in one place and you can see all the bits of paper and sticky all coming off. And it just makes the storage look, you know, nice and new and pretty again, ready for the next use. Now, I do have a lot more spare bottles left on this painting than what I did on the last one, because, of course, this one is a lot less colours. In fact, the size of it, I probably could have kitted it up in this little small 21 container. In fact, there would have been plenty of space for it. But I do like the round bottles and I already had it um, left over, of course. I already had it here and ready from doing the last one. So I thought we'll just use the same. Okay, so all we need to do now is kit up or put all these diamonds into this container. Some of them do, of course, already have diamonds in and that's fine. I'm just going to add on the top because, as I say, I do know that they've all come from the same seller at the same time. And then I do need to prepare my canvas as well. So stay with me. I'm just going to grab my big tray um, I like to put a tray underneath just to catch any diamonds when I'm kitting up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so all the other bits are away um, and I'm just on the actual sort of kitting up process now, which is fun. Um, I do have a brew. I did take a little, let's just go get a brew and work from there. Okay, so I'm going to start with 939 because it has a big bag. But I think I'm going to get to the point that this is full, which I am. Got a 
little bit of static going on in these. And then I need to put into my sort of spares. Of course, I am going to end up with more spares than I normally would just kitting this up because of the fact that I've carried diamonds over. Let's get those in. And then I think there's some more. Yes, there is. There's two bags more. I'm going to pop these straight into the tray because it's easier than trying to get them into the bag. It's easier to use the tray to get them into the bag. Get that one in the end and get that rubbish out of the way to start off with. So we'll put that up there for now. What have we got next? 799. So we already have a few of these, but of course we've got some more. So that's one bag, should be able to fit all of these in. And then I'm just going to fold the other two bags in half and put them both in together. And I've just realised that I'm not fully in shot doing it this way, so maybe we just need to move up a bit. Make sure that you can fully see what it is that I'm doing. Oh, I knew there was a diamond that went somewhere. I thought it went on the floor. That's why I stopped looking. It didn't. It hid. Okay, 797. So this is another one that I already have some spares in a bag. And I have some in the pot. So I'm going to try and fill up the pot first. And then any that are left will go into the spares in case I need them. I may not even need to touch them. And if that's the case, that's fine. I'll make it easier when I put it away in my spare diamond storage later. Oh, I'll fight with that one in a minute. I might be tipping some into the tray yet anyway. Because there's quite a few bags of this. I've got eight bags of this painting. So this must be the prominent colour in the background. Let's see if we can get two more in. Oh, got a bit full, but again, that's why the tray's there. So I'm gonna tip a few of them out and then we'll add in the last two. straight into the spares bag. In case they're needed. It would not surprise me if they end up staying in there. But we'll see how it goes. So I've got two spare bags. 159. This is a colour that I've not had before in any of my paintings. So this is a new one. But we only have one bag, so that must just be in little accents of it. 996. This again is quite full, but we should be able to fit these three in. Kind of hope. A little bit of static on those. Poor RIP drill. It's got squished in the plastic. Quite a few of those get squished in the plastic to be gone forever. Are you all going to fit in? Put one left in that bag. Ooh. Nearly hit the floor. And then I've got a couple that flew out when I was taking the top off. But they've all fit in, so that's a bonus. Get rid of any little trashy bits. 210. Quite a quick one to kit up this one when it gets to the actual kitting up process. But I knew I'd have more to de kit on this one because I think the last picture I did mm. was it the last picture I did that had the most colours in it? I think it might have been. No, it wasn't. It was the one before had the most colours in, but this is the painting I think that's had the least colours in, apart from, of course, the tiny one. But I didn't do that one. Maybe I did. So, mixing it up a little bit. She likes, she doesn't get as much time to diamond paint as me, um, but she likes to 
do some of the small ones for a change from doing her big Tinkerbell one. Likes to complete some of those. She enjoys to kit them up and then for de-kitting she passes them to me. So, oh, I haven't cut that back properly. That's why they're not coming out. And I've got a bit of static in these as well. So rather than fight with the static over the pot, I'm just going to get them all into the tray. And then I'll get the tray to put them away. I know it's more plastic, but they seem to manage better when they're just doing, coming out the tray than when they do coming out the bag. 826. Quite a lot of these, we only have three bags. I do have the funnel as well. I just, I don't tend to use it as much because they get stuck on that as much as they get stuck on anything else. But it can be good, especially if you've got, you know, bags that aren't opening properly. It can be a little bit easier. But I think overall, after having quite a few paintings where I'm opening individual bags, I do like the paintings that come with um, the diamonds all in one bag. I think overall, that's a lot easier. Okay. What's next? Eight to four. Not many left over from previous kits, but this kit also only has one bag. So my guess is it's not been a prominent colour in any. 825. And I'm dropping them already. This is why I have the big tray underneath. I do actually have a bigger tray um, as well, but it doesn't have a spout on it. So it, it was it was very handy when um, Megan and I were kitting up Tinkerbell and we accidentally put two colours together in the same pot instead of them being in different ones. It's very handy for sorting out for that reason. But it's not very good when I'm kitting up because of tipping them into, into the pots. I just prefer using this big basic white tray. I did used to use this for diamond painting all the time. I don't now. I use a three printed diamond painting tray for that now. And I've not cut that back properly again. Which is why I've made more of a mess. Oh, bits of plastic. That's why you always need a, quite a big bin to deal with all the rubbish. 3799, not been used in one before. I'm going to do these singly, see if I can actually do it without making too much of a mess. So there's a little bit of static in these. And we're good. 3761, again, that's not a colour that we've had before. It's amazing how the same picture doesn't always use the same colours. I can imagine it having more colours, you know, and more different shades. But it's amazing that we've got all the way down to nearly the smallest painting and we're introducing a colour that the other paintings haven't seen before. I'll have to see what it's like when they're all completed and I do the comparison video to see whether you can tell the difference in some of the shading that some have had over others. So 823, see if I can fit all four bags in. I do still have my spare bag here for 799. However, they have all fit in the pot for this painting, so I don't need that spare bag. So I'll put that to one side. 
and I might keep hold of the ones that I've written the numbers on for other paintings. We'll see how much it becomes a pain to filter through them when they're needed. And then last, but by no means least, we've got 3865. These are quite tightly compact, so I'm going to do one at a time to save me cutting through any diamonds. And I got those in nicely. Okay, so all the diamonds are in the pot. I've got two spares, so I'm going to pop them into the bag and zip them up. So as I say, if that happens to fall out, which it can do, um, it normally depends on how many diamonds are in there, that should sit there. But if it gets knocked and they fall out, at least they're all together and that saves them making more of a mess. But all the diamonds for this one are done. What I need to do now is prepare the canvas. This is sort of the exciting part. Um, we do have a bit of overhang of adhesive on a few sides of this and I am going to section this one up so that I can do it um, using the sort of decisions app, tiny decisions, the app that I went through and showed everybody on Saturday. Trying to think what day it was the video went up and I did I filmed it and put it up on Saturday um, and I'm really enjoying any painting that I can divide up into sections I am doing <laughs> and it's normally the paintings that come with this opaque cover that I do it on and um, the reason being is it's very easy to divide up that cover it's not as easy on a poured glue canvas. It can be done, um, and it can be done with the likes of, of cover sheets, release paper, or potentially just with washi tape over the top of the clear cover, but it's not quite as easy. So I definitely do it on my easy ones. Okay, all I'm doing at the moment is I'm pulling back the paper um, and then scoring with just a craft knife. I'm scoring down the glue that's overhanging. Now you don't have to press very heavy at all to score through the glue. The glue on these opaque covers is actually like a double-sided tape, like a double-sided tissue tape. So if you think of trying to slice through a tissue, you don't need a lot of force to be able to cut through a layer of tissue. And what I'm doing is just taking off the double-sided tape so that it won't give me any problems when I'm working on it with stickiness. The bottom row is extremely thin and I think I'm gonna leave that. I don't think it's gonna pull off very well. In fact, all sides are pretty thin, but these three sides are slightly thicker than the bottom and it's enough for me to be able to just get my nail in to get the edge of it and then pull it up in one continuous strip and just take it off my canvas completely so it's not an issue. Okay so now I need to divide this into a workable area. Um, I do also need to change the battery in my camera so I'll get that done and then we'll get this divided up into sections. Exciting. Okay. So when I did the last sort of one that I kitted up for putting in my app that chooses the decisions, um, I actually did quite long strips rather than fat square strips and I quite liked it so what I think I'm going to do and these are going to be different sizes and I'm okay with that I'm still going to use my craft knife again but quite lightly and I'm just going to use the paper that's already there so this one is of course going to be thinner than this one 
but I quite like the fact that you end up with a different size that you're completing depending on which number it chooses. I quite like that fact. So I'm going to trim these up this way. Ooh. That won't help because I didn't cut that right. There we go. So I'm cutting it light enough. So that section is a lot bigger than that section because I really don't want this tiny little strip, only because it's going to be a load of black. Um, and then this one is thinner. But it's not me that's choosing, it's the app that's choosing. So one, two, three, four, five. So the question is, do I want it as 10 sections? Or do I want it as 15 sections and I divide it into three? For this one, I think I'm going to do it into 10. And the main reason for that is I do work quite quickly through this painting. Um, there is quite a bit of confetti in places. And I'm just going to fold that. That just confirms whether I've caught all the areas. So I haven't quite caught here. You see on that little edge there, it's just catching. You can just see the paper. But I can just then go over just that little bit. And that will pull now when I do it. So yeah, I'm going to do it in 10 because I do quite often do, well, the last one I did even bigger sections than this. In fact, it was probably that size section at one time. Um, I do like working on big sections, so I don't want to make it that I feel the sections are too small and I'm having to do two at once. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my little square labels with my cute little diamond from the shop. I'm going to use those to label up. And I'm going to use purple this time because it's the first pen I found. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm just going to pop one each of these from the top on my little sections. And I actually know where my sections are on this due to the fact that I use the copper paper to guide me with each section. But if you're unsure, you can do what I did like when you check that you cut it right by just bending it and do it that way. Okay, so that is all now divided up into 10 sections. What I need to do now is I need to get my app ready. So I use the Tiny Decisions app, which I do have a video on. Um, my 10 sections, so I've finished the 16 section, which was the last one I did. Um, I've put that back to being blank so that I can um, use that next time I divide a painting up into 16. My Ever Moment painting is divided up into a 10, but that's currently in use. So what I want to do is create a new one. For this one, I'm going to call it at the minute Couple, because that's just what I've started calling this painting. And I'm just going to put my options in. So option one. Sorry if you can't see it properly. I do the video where I describe this app. I do show it better. Of course, at the minute, I need to be able to see what I'm typing. And I'm not on the iPad like I was before. Eight, nine, and then ten. So that's all my sections added in. And then I need to choose the toggle for non-repeating selection, which means that it will black it out. Then I get a nice app, because I've not paid for this yet, though I am thinking of doing it. So if I go to couple now, I just have sections one to 10. I tap on this and it will choose the section and that will be the section that I work on. When I've finished it, I tap on it again and that section that I've already done is blacked out so it'll pick a different one. But then what I can do is I can just reset the wheel to start it all over again. 
Um, so I'll have this one ready. I'll work through the sections that it chooses. And then when it's finished completely, I'll reset the wheel and I'll just name it 10 section so I can use it in the future. But that is my painting kitted up and in sections, which I am loving doing. Uh, that is my diamonds all in there. All the rest are away. I'm going to get cracking on this one so that I can show you guys what they all look like finished. This is the last one to be done. And then I do have a very exciting comparison coming after that. Might take a bit longer, but I do think it's going to be a very interesting one. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this long video. I do know it's been long, kitting up and prepping and all the rest, but it's sort of a mixture of at least two types of videos. I normally do de-kittings and kittings up separate, and this one's been confined. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon.